One time we pulled a prank on him. On Chech? Uh, Hack TV. On, oh, okay. We pretended we were burying a body in a backyard. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and the guy what? we hired from Home Depot was really our friend, and we had him like freak out on Chech. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. How did he react to that? <laughs> Honestly, like a stoner, he was just like... <laughs> <laughs> and he kept filming, which I loved. Like he didn't stop filming the whole time. Well, you had him film it, and he then... was filming. Yeah, he oh was there filming, and gosh. we pulled the prank on him. Oh my gosh, bro! Are you still doing that? Uh, what is it called? Again? We took a break during the pandemic because, like, dude, how many pranks can you do on people during the pandemic? I don't know, bro. But I, honestly, it was like the most valuable shit. I would, I would cry <laughs> laughing at that. I felt like I was a pranks. slave because my friend thought of the idea, and I was uh, the only person he knew who knew how to use a camera <laughs> and who would do it with you. I mean, like, I was pretty ballsy. He was just crazy, bro. bro. Like, ballsy. he was going into the hospitals dressed as a doctor, covered in blood, <laughs> fake blood. Drinking beers, <laughs> like we were pretty nuts. <laughs> we that sounds no, so illegal. <laughs> and he'd have to convince me to do it every time. I was like, oh, "No, I'm not doing gosh. this. No, I'm not doing this." Cut to me doing it. Like, are you serious? Yeah. Wait, did you ever have like fear doing that though? 100. percent But that you was did? that was like the thrill. It was like this adrenaline rush after. You always strike me like you don't care about it. And then when you watch the footage back, and you're like, "Fuck, let's do it again. I can do it better." <laughs> That's when you get sucked into the wormhole of, the, of the, doing the, shitty things to people in public. The prank vibes. Well, you guys had good pranks. Like a lot of these channels try to do pranks. Dude, we made a lot of lame. people. We made a lot of people cry. That never cry, made like, camera. Cry, yeah. laugh. No, like cry really? because they we put them in the most uncomfortable situations of their life. Oh my gosh, bro! At CVS, <laughs> at like eight p.m. <laughs> Wait, how would you make them cry though? At CVS? Like, what was the prank? Give me the, the preface of the prank. Basically, um, I had crutches, okay. right? I had crutches and, like, a fake broken leg. Okay. And my friend came up and, like, just pantsed me, oh. you know, to my ankles. I think I saw that. I and, like, he so. dipped out, so I blamed the person behind me. And I fall over <laughs> with my crutches, and, like, I can't get up. And we're blaming, like, this... Old lady? Not old. We wouldn't target people. We were oh just. Oh my god! This lady just started crying on she, the spot. Whoa! Yeah. And I was like, "Yo, this isn't fun anymore. I don't want to do this." So he would take like all the fun out of it at that moment. Yeah, I was she like, "I need crying. to. I need to go back to making music again." Oh my gosh, bro! Was it like a good escape though from music? It was you like know? I think that's pretty important.